Hey guys, EU3 is back, and I'd like to say this is the most successful game I've ever had, basically as any country. There's a few more, there's a few games I've had where there's a, few, a little more successful. There was an England game, ooh, look at France, conquering Spain. It's not good at all. I'm looking to annex Brittany any second. But, um, they have a tarnished reputation, the reputation's bad though, they're infamy. But, um, I had a game as England, where I actually inherited France. And then took over Milan, Switzerland, and uh, Savoy. Well, I didn't take them over, but I'm leading them in a personal union. And there was I also had another England game where I took over um, all of France, not through a personal union. I actually fought them the old-fashioned way. And then I had a huge colonial empire. I, my, Europe, my empire in Europe wasn't too too great. It was just like a few, you know, like northern France. I kind of carved out that ish area. Of France, but it was it was pretty impressive overall. So we gotta wait what like ten years until we can more than ten years. Ugh, that's annoying. It really is. We could expand our military while we're while we're waiting, which I think is what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, expand it one more time. Now, actually, we'll still expand it in Italy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Mom texted me really quick. Let me read this. One second, folks. Uh, apparently, my parents are staying at a hotel where um, two gay guys run it. Which is funny because my parents are super homophobic, so I just find that kind of kind of funny. Um. All right. Just uh, yeah, the game stops responding for a few seconds every time I uh the a new year loads. It's kind of funny. Not funny as in ha ha funny. Funny as in odd. France next Luxembourg. Great. I'm not getting scared of them at all. Urgh. Grr. I have to do slower westernization. That actually won't affect me. Is a good thing. That actually is not that bad. It won't it actually won't affect me at all. Because um we have to now. We have to wait until 1403 to do um, the uh, Western influences goes away. But the resisting Western influences, I mean, we have to wait another 10 years. But we w wouldn't be able to. Oh, they got Mecklenburg as a vassal. We wouldn't be able to do anything for another 10 years anyway. So it doesn't really hurt us. All right, Our military is being expanded. Our con economy is being hurt, but. That's for a couple reasons. Yeah, we've gone down economically over the last few years, but that's because we're expanding our military and just because we're overall expanding. Let's see. And this is going to be the theme of Italia. I know we have a theme of Roma, but, um,. You know, it's, um, it's whatever. I'll keep them in, um, Apulia has now zero. Oh, no, Apulia always had zero. Um, we'll, we'll send them to Foggia, because they have bad revolt risk because of the missionaries. All right. I don't know why Foggy, they want us to convert Foggia, but it's whatever. Later on in the game, there are really boring missions. I hope the um, actual mod, the mod actually changes that, it makes the missions more interesting. Let's see what's the be best income overall now. The best that's a good way of judging who's the best nation is income. It is us, barely f le leading the. Uh, um, barely leading against the Netherlands and France behind them who is going to take a huge chunk out of Spain right now I can sense it 
The Netherlands is at war with Pomerania. Probably gonna win. I can I can tell that. All right. I've been to the Netherlands. It's a very nice place. Bye bye Nevers. That's the most random thing in the world. They're allied with France, I guess. All right. <clears throat> Ended the vassalization of Mecklenburg. All right. Yeah, France is gonna take a lot from Castile. France is gonna be the new beast of the West, and we're the beast of the East. The old Frankish Empire versus the old Roman Empire. I could totally see that as an as an. As an let me talk correct correctly today. As an I could totally see that as an amazing showdown near the end of the game. That's what I love about this game, especially Divine Wind. I think made this a little bit better. Is that end game? There's a lot of very strong nations, um, a lot of very strong nations that can actually um, makes for some great mid game to end game wars, like huge, you know, continent spanning wars. And I, I always love those kind. Um, well, not continent spanning because. All right, if we had a war against like Europe versus versus I didn't mean to do that. Europe versus Asia, you know, like an, an Asian empire versus a European empire, that's cool. When you get ships that are like going around the coast of Mexico to fight in Southeast Asia and in America and that kind of stuff, that's when it gets annoying. Occupied by Nishi Novgorod. All right. Yeah, Russia is um colonizing these places, colonizing there. They're um taking back what's rightfully theirs. Look, that province has no owner. Everyone in I guarantee you it didn't start like that. Hmm. Do we have a level 2 fort in Judea? We do, okay. Right, where do we have level 2 forts? I want to check this. Where can I build them is a better question. I want them in as many provinces as possible. So we'll build them in all of Italy. Oh, we can't build it there. Why not? Oh, because a missionary is going there. Alright, never mind. I'll do that later. And, yeah, focus on these. And I have two missionaries, so I could send one here. Send. Send one here. Send. Yeah, we're not getting too many missionaries per year, but we are getting a lot. And as soon as I get Mecca... Uh, I can, you know, do that. <clears throat> One thing that's interesting, we now have a manpower of 102, 102k. Um, so, that's good. Ferreira lost to... Who? Who did they lose to? I don't even know. Oh, they lost to Sardinia. Corazan uh, got annexation. They annexed uh, those guys. So Corazan's huge now. I want France to get these two provinces just so they can have a full um, France. You know, I think that'd be pretty cool. It would go down here once they conquer Spain. It'll go France. And I've always loved those big, huge names. Venice annexed Ferreira. Ooh, that's not good for you, Venice. You know that means it's going to be harder for us to fight you. Venice is just annoying in the things that they do. Because they, they're never a big player. They're never a big, a big dog of Europe, ever. Except, you know, I have a Venice file. Oh, I should say that my Venice file is massively successful because I own all of, most, most of Greece... Most of Turkey, the, Austria owns like all the north half, I own, I own all the southern half. Um, all of the Holy Land, well not all of it, but most of the Holy Land. Uh, all the Holy Land, most of Egypt. Tripoli, you know, this kind of area. Um, all of this area right in here, I own all that. Uh, I own, you know, this area, I'm expanding into the Timurid area. And that's probably the, it's not my most successful, but it's probably the most fun I've ever played. I'd say this is my most successful because we're still very early on and we're... We've got a long way to go before um, um, they didn't annex them, really. We've got a long way to go <clears throat> before um, the game is over. So 
we've got a long way, you know, we've got a lot of time. But anyway, Spain accepted peace, and they will just annul treaties, and they will release sovereign states. But they um, didn't actually lose all that much. I mean, they're probably the same, they're, I think they're almost the exact same size, the exact same amount of provinces as they are when they start the game. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. Still, you know. So they annexed, uh, they annexed Utrecht. All right, which they had a core on, so you know, no, no, no harm against them. The Netherlands, I, I think I'm gonna um, tr maybe try to ally with them because they're rich. I like having rich people as my friends. <laughs> All right, let's see. Are the yeah, forts are being built. Um, nobles demand um, recompensation. I'll lose the stability. All right. Let's uh, invest in stability. Let's see our technology is doing now. We've been focusing a lot on stability recently, but we are starting to catch up. You know, we're leaving the old world behind us. You know, if you look, this is all red now. We're leaving them behind us, and the Netherlands are just miles ahead of everyone else. Because they're super rich, and the richer you are, the more you invest into your... Um, uh, technology. So now we have... Level 2 forts in all these places. So let's focus now on Greece. Focus on southern Greece first. More than anything, I want my um, land to be basically impenetrable. Like, no one is getting any of my land without a fight. Not even occupying it. Just, just no. It's just not happening. All right. We are starting to get okay. One more. We have one more missionary. So where could I send him? Um, to Roma? No, to Judea. To Judea. There we go. Now I'm not as rich as I was, and I'm not getting as much money as I was. So um, you could say you could say that that's a downside, but I'm actually making more money than ever. I'm just spending more money than ever. Russia is calling us against. At Conlu, Hedjaz, Trebizond, Hasfids. Once again, a defensive war. Once again, At Conlu is at the head. Once again, we can probably just piece them out as a white piece. Or concede defeat. Nope, they would not accept it this time. And I'll just let Russia do the fighting. It doesn't affect me too much. Yeah, they're going to border the, um, Russia might border us actually quite soon because they're sending, uh, colonists to these places. Actually, they don't have that many colonists, they haven't sent that many colonists anywhere recently. But I guess that's because, um, a couple reasons. Ooh, the man looks like they're about to attack. They got a lot of men on our border. Like, look at that, you could, um, you can tell they're getting ready to do something. Or they may maybe they're just scared of us and they're not going to attack, they're just scared. But the Georgians lost a war. So sad. I'm almost out of time. So. We'll see. Bul Bul Bulgaria is sieging Dogorogobuga. So I hope they actually take it. Because then I could. Um, oh yeah, this is with a lot of people. Let's see this. Oh, not that. Yeah, look at that. That must be scary. Anyway, as always, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. And once it lets me go back. Stop auto-saving. There we go.